What's up guys, it's Vee Chief here. In this video, we're gonna go over all of the best investments you need to be making this weekend on FC24 and some of these filters that can help you make a ton of coins as we get the supply when FC Team 2 comes out. So let's go ahead and dive into this and basically very, very simple. What I'm probably gonna be all in investing in is fodder and specifically 85, 86, and 87 rated cards. Now, the reason for this, number one, is these cards are getting very, very cheap right now. 86 rated cards are getting close to like the 8,000 coin range, which is a phenomenal spot to invest. 85 rated cards are getting close to 5,000 coins. So number one, fodder is getting really, really cheap. Number two reason is we're going to get an Icon SPC this coming Sunday. So pretty much every Sunday we get an Icon or a Hero SPC. And last Sunday, we got this hero sbc which isn't really all that desirable and is what kind of led to this drop in fodder prices but this coming sunday we're expecting to get an icon sbc and the last icon sbc absolutely skyrocketed the price of these fodder cards so if we go take a look at fodder just to kind of show you the graph of these cards let's go ahead and take an 86 rated gundawan here now the last icon sbc required two 86 rated squads and an 87 rated squad so 86s did really really well which is likely going to be the cards i go in on this weekend so if we take a look at the last month here you'll see Sunday, February 18th is where we got this Icon SBC. These cards, Friday, Saturday, were, again, about this 8,000 coin range. And then they went all the way up to 12 thousand coins now i don't know if we're going to get a rise like that but i can easily see 86s going to ten thousand coins this weekend and you'll be able to make two thousand coins a card and they're right back down to this price range where it's super safe to invest in and i would definitely expect them to rise in price so that's the 86s there looking at the 87s here Odegaard is at about 12 and a half 13k this time last week was about 12 and a half k went all the way up to like 19,000 coins which is absolutely absurd and then came right back down in price here so these are really really safe prices to invest in and obviously the rating that rises is going to be completely dependent upon what SBCs EA bring and what they require but the 85 86 87 range is where I'm most comfortable investing you'll see with these 85s they were down to 4.3k went all the way to almost 7k and then now are back down a little bit not all the way back down which is why i'm kind of more focusing on the 86 rated cards but that's something to keep an eye on so those are going to be my main investments this weekend and mainly focusing on likely the 86 rated cards so i wanted to jump into all of the filters that you guys can use to bid on fodder because if you don't know basically bidding on fodder especially on fridays but you can do both Fridays and Saturdays is basically the easiest way to make coins because you just have so much supply coming onto the market. So I've got my filters written out here and I'll put these in the discord as well. Free trading discord link in the description. Make sure to join. So we'll go rating by rating here just to show you guys. So this right here is going to be our 84 rated filter. 1100, 1200, 9900, 10k. And this will give you the higher rating you go, the more kind of specific the filters are. Like you'll see this 84 one has a lot of different ratings in it. But as we kind of move up the ladder, you know, the 86 filter pretty much only has 86s in it, which makes it really, really good for bidding on cards. So that's our 84 filter there. And I typically only use the kind of higher rated filters as well. I don't really like the 84 rated one. So next we'll move on to the 85 rated filter, minimum price 2100, max bid price 2500. And the way we kind of build these filters, I'll show you in a second here, but it's basically based around the minimum price that you can list these cards. So the minimum price that you can list in 85 is 2100. So that's kind of how we build these filters out. And you'll see here, you're gonna get a lot of 85 rated cards in this filter that are coming in on super 
cheap bits. And again, 85s are like five and a half K right now. And you still see a lot of these cards coming in at these low bid prices. And we'll take a look back to see what those cards expire at. But moving on to our 86 rated filter, this is probably the one I use the most here, I would say. Um, we need to set this to blank. So we'll go like this. So you're going to go 3,600, 3,900, and then a minimum bid, minimum buy now of 10,250, which leads you into only getting 86 rated cards here, which is absolutely brilliant, as you can see here. And this will likely be what I use to invest in these cards is basically just mass bidding on all of these with this filter. Next up, we have our 87 rated filter, which also kind of doubles as an 88 rated filter, but we're going to go 5,100, 6,200, and then minimum buy now, 10,250. And again, this gives you the ability to kind of only get those high rated cards in here. So you'll see we got quite a few 87s coming in on open bids and whatnot. And again, you can pick any filter to bid on these cards and you're going to make coins just because of the sheer amount of supply we get with new promos because you get all sorts of people that are opening saved packs for rewards you get people opening the new packs in the store you get tons and tons of stuff coming so this is one of my favorites and then something else I like doing is I like bidding on team of the weeks as well I feel like it's kind of something that flies under the radar whenever we get like a new promo everybody's focused on like the fodder the new promo cards but I find bidding on team of the weeks is typically a pretty easy way to make coins on the weekend and there's no special filter for this you're basically just gonna jack up your max bid price to whatever you're willing to bid up to on these cards and these are pretty expensive right now so you can actually bid very very high on those team of the weeks so that's my kind of main look for investments and how you're going to go about making coins this weekend now i'm also going to post some fc some fantasy fc team one cards in the discord because there are quite a few cards i think are still at very safe prices to invest and are going to go up in price for example this politano is probably going to go to 90 rated very very good chance of it could even go to like 91 i don't think he got any of his upgrades yet if i'm not mistaken maybe he i don't think he got any and he has a very good chance of getting all four upgrades now i sold all my politanos just because i want to be able to invest in fodder when the time comes but there's quite a few cards like this. Aspas is good for, for another upgrade. Molina, I think, could gain a lot of hype going into this weekend's game. But you'll see here, I sold my cards off because I want to be able to get in on this fodder. And I'm kind of accumulating my coins, getting rid of the rest of these cards. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And join the Discord. I get tons and tons of questions about stuff and i'm always answering you guys in the discord so make sure to join up there and i'll catch you in the next video peace